It's called the Shema. Found in Deuteronomy 6, it's been the most important Jewish prayer dating all the way back to the time of Moses. It goes like this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. When Jesus was asked about the greatest commandment, he didn't give some original thought. He just quoted the ancient prayer everyone knew with this important addendum and love your neighbor as yourself. Jewish people are supposed to quote the Shema daily and meditate on its words. For us as Christians, the great commandment should be the same. Distilled to its simplest version, it means this, love God and love people. We all need to be reminded how fundamental and important those simple principles are. Moses gave some meditation instructions. He wrote, These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. Moses was serious about the importance of the Shema. And as Christians, we should follow his advice. It should be a part of what we talk about with our children. It should be in our thoughts frequently. Especially use the times when you allow your mind to wander, like when you're driving down the highway or waiting in line, to think about honoring the Lord with your life and loving others as well. Make him a part of the beginning and ending of your day and use the reminders of his presence even in the decor of your home. These are all ways Moses suggested for us to remember the Lord and they're good for us as Christians as well. We need to follow Moses' instruction. Things are starting to open up, hopefully signaling that our lives are beginning to return to normal. Many of us are getting back into our regular routines and it's easy for the Lord to get lost in the shuffle. All that means is that we must be more intentional about reminding ourselves regularly of the importance of the great commandment. Love the Lord with all you have and love people. And remember, you can't have one without the other. It's true, you might be able to love people without loving God, but you will never be able to love God and not love people. So thanks for these couple of moments to focus with you on God's great desire for your life. He wants you to love God and love people. Have a blessed day.